Welcome back to Tune Up For What? I'm Spencer, here as always with Master Technician Jeremiah. And uh, we've got an R58 here. We're going to yeah. show you a little bit about how to adjust the pump pressure on machines like the Rocket Evo line or this one in particular, the R58. Um, so what are the reasons that we'd want to do that? So sometimes in shipping, mm -hmm. the uh, lock nut will come loose. Okay, just from vibrations. Just vibrations. Okay. And then the brass nut will actually thread itself in. Okay. And it's all done Crank via shipping. Crank up the pressure, yeah. It just cranks up your pressure. Okay. Um, we've done this one. You can actually see it when you lift the lever. Uh, you can hear that noise. That's because the expansion valve's at its max. So okay. it's squealing. It's telling you you've got a problem. Mm -hmm. Your pump's adjusted way too high. Okay. Usually on the right-hand side, there's a brass nut mm -hmm. sticking down that you're going to adjust. Okay. So I've already loosened the black lock nut on this one to make it easier, which is a 14 millimeter wrench for the black and then a 10 for the brass nut. Even numbers. So yeah, it's easier to adjust it while it's running. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do a couple turns to stop the squealing. Is it possible to adjust while it's not? So you can, but it's mm -hmm. a luck of the draw okay. of what yeah. pressure you're at. So you're getting you so, seeing the results while it's on, yeah. Okay. I've already adjusted it down, and we're losing it, and we're actually losing less water out of the discharge hole. The squeal's gone. And the squeal's gone, but as you keep going... The drill remains. The squeal is gone. Right? We're almost to 10. Okay. All the water has stopped coming out of the pin now, because the expansion valve's holding up. Gotcha. Um, and not allowing it to go, because that's set to go off at 12. Okay. And then what I like to do... With the blank in there, mm -hmm. is get it to about nine and a half. Okay. Because then with your coffee, it should come out around nine. Okay. Now you can also adjust adjust this if your roaster says they like it at six bars. Sure. Different pressure profiles. Different pressure for different, profiles. Different beans. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, and if you plumb it into your house, you're getting pressure. You could from have pressure from your line, mm -hmm. which will cause the pressure to go up on the pump. Mm -hmm. So say it's dialed in at nine bars of the tank, you hook it up to your house, say your house has three bars. Okay. So you're now just... you're boosting at three more bars. And you heard what happens when you're at 12 bars. <laughs> yeah, it's very it's lovely. It's not pleasant. Okay. Um, once you get that one loosened, then you go ahead and tighten that black lock nut up. Okay. I mean, it's really nice that they made it two different sizes so that you can just go around mm -hmm. and make sure that it's tight. And you don't have to wrench on it super hard. Make it tight. Okay. Um, because you don't want to crack the plastic. Right. So that's, yeah, that's adjusting the pump pressure on a Rocket or Evo line. Okay. Um, pretty easy to do. It's not too bad. Um, you can do it from home. Yeah, you can do it from home. It's easy. Any one of you. It's, it's an easy job. It'll save us a lot of headaches because we get a lot of calls. Cool. Well, thanks for showing us. Yeah, you're welcome. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, let us know down below. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good night. <laughs>